Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to show you how to do timestamps without any code. And I'm going to show you four ways, each more automated than the next, each with its pros and cons. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the content or if you want to go one step ahead and download the templates of these and more than 100 videos in the channel, you can go to the Patreon page that you may find in the description of the video. So let's begin. What is a timestamp? A timestamp is basically a date that you stamp. That's it. A date and hour that you put and it remains static. When it's useful, for example, for an assistance, for a document tracking, for delivery tracking. So for example, when someone writes their name, I want the date to automatically stamp itself. So let's see first, another possibility is to insert a checkbox. And that when the person or the user clicks here, then I can see the time. Okay, so there are many ways of doing it. One way is with code, but today we're not going to use code. Maybe if you're interested, we can do another video with code. But for now, we're going to do it without code. So let's begin with the most rudimentary or most manual ways. There is a shortcut that implies a special key in the keyboard. If you are in a North American keyboard, you will have uh, the semicolon. And if you're in a Latin or in Spanish keyboard, then you'll have this uh, square bracket and this uh, inverse accent. So you may need to experiment a bit depending on the country you're at. If you go here to help and keyboard shortcuts and uh, here you just write date, then you'll see here it says control plus semicolon. But again, depending in the country you're at, it may change. So again, I have a Latin keyboard, so I'm going to hit this key at the right of the P, control accent, and then I have my date, okay? Normally the timestamp, the traditional timestamp, as the date and the hour. So depending on what you need, you may need just the time or just the hour or both. If you need just the hour, you will hit Control Shift and the same key and it will give you the hour. And if you want both time and hour, that is the, the real time stamp is both date and time, you will do Control Alt Shift and the same key. Okay, so if you do this, then and if you uh, teach your users, or if you're the only user to do this, then it will be very easy. You just write your name and then do Control Alt Shift, this symbol. So this is the first way to do it. There's another way, maybe easier, and is doing at. This is a new one from 2023, and you're going to select this today's date, and that's it. The bad thing about it, it only brings the date, it doesn't bring the hour. Or you can also do add and start writing today and that's it and hit enter and you'll have it. Okay, so I prefer the shortcut one that I already told. So here it doesn't matter what is the, the symbol to the left because you're always going to write it manually. There is another way that actually it's a bit worse because it requires two steps and is with the now. You have two formulas for time. One is the today formula. And the other one is the now formula. The difference is that today brings just the date, but now brings the date and the hour. The bad thing about this formula is that being a formula, here you can see 85842. If I refresh my sheet, now it's not 85842, but it's 85859. It changes every time. So given that this, it's a timestamp what we want, maybe there are some times when you will need something that updates every time. But given that we are doing some kind of traceability of history and we want the time to be stamped, this is why we call it timestamp, then this won't work. What you could do is just take this formula, put the formula, then do Control C, copy it, and then paste it as values. Control Shift V, or just here you can do edit, paste the special and paste as values. Okay, again, it requires a bit more steps, but it's also a way, the same here. You could, once you do uh, the check, then you could say, okay, let's do now. Even better, you could do a formula. But the bad thing about this formula is that you will be replacing it all the time. So for example, what we could do is do a formula that says if 
this equals to true because in a checkbox and you can see my video on checkbox in a default checkbox when the check is checked it's true and if it's unchecked it's false so if this is true then we're going to put now if not we're not going to put anything actually this is with a comma also a comma here close parenthesis and we have nothing but once we check it it puts the now however again if we refresh it will change the date so you have to manually we would have to copy this formula we could insert it here just to have as a reference and we would have to copy and paste as values so it's not the best way but it it is a way so um, i'm always in favor of uh, baby steps and of continuous improvement so actually this may require some steps but it's not a bad way to begin then we can go to the more automated ways we're going to see today so now we're going to try to do it with a formula that it's a bit more complicated but it can be done there are more than two ways of doing it the first one includes a weird technique that is called iterative calculation or recursivity i've never seen it before i did my research a couple of years ago for this so it is a bit crazy if you are new or intermediate to sheets or even to excel because you can also do it in excel and it's the following we're going to do an if and just play with me here and uh believe me until we do the the change because for now i'm going to do a formula that seems a bit unlogic we're going to say that if this a2 is empty then we're not going to put anything okay until now nothing weird if there's anything we're going to put a now okay so let's leave it as it is and it may work however it will always refresh and we are not doing a timestamp but just an updated current time so this is not what we want so what we could do is the following we're going to add another if here instead of the now we are going to say that if this same b2 if b2 has no date then we're going to do the now if not we're not going to do anything okay only if it has no date how do we know if it doesn't have a date we could do it the same way a2 equals to empty we could say b2 equals to empty if b2 equals to empty then we'll put now if not we are going to leave b2 as it is this is where it gets weird because you say how are you referencing the same cell so in b2 you're writing a formula that refers itself to b2 so it doesn't make any sense so we're going to hit enter and we're going to have a problem here okay because a circular dependency is detected maybe some of you have noted this when you try to do very crazy vlookups or index that goes one way and then the other and you will see this error okay but here we're doing it purposely okay the only thing we're going to change here is that this won't work with dates this works with text but not with dates with dates the empty sheet will identify it as a zero okay so for this to work we have to say if b2 equals to zero then we'll put now if not just leave b2 alone okay still won't work because we need to change one thing and the thing we're going to change is we're going to go to file settings and then here in calculation we're going to set iterative calculation to on and we're going to leave maximum number of iterations to one here it's normally at 50 so we're going to change it to one save the settings and here we have our timestamp apparently it works it says 92641 and if i drag it down it will say 92730 and if i refresh f5 it continues to have 92641 and 92732 so apparently this works and we can do the same when it's a checkbox very similar i'm going to copy this paste it here but we're going to change a bit the formula we're going to say that if c2 equals to false then don't do anything and let's drag this down and if i click it then i have 928.16 and if i let's do the same here 928.21 and if i update everything remained okay so this is a nice way of doing it to be perfectly honest this is not the most stable way because uh, some maybe at the end of the year when something is changed in the servers of google and the sheets is refreshed this may change so this is a nice way of experimenting but to be perfectly frank i wouldn't depend on it so it's really nice it's a nice way to to dazzle your friends but i would experiment with it 
and leave it uh, working a couple of months to see if this works for you. Okay, so now we go to another one that I think it's much more stable and it's more new because it involves these Lambda functions that are fairly new to Sheets. I'm going to make a copy of this file to remove the recursivity because I don't want this to, to cause any conflict. But I want to leave the other one to see if it continues to work in the future. So I'm going to remove the iterative calculation. So this iterative calculation won't work in this new file. And here I'm going to use a different approach. So the approach I'm going to use is called the Lambda functions. Again, I'm introducing a lot of weird concepts, so bear with me, please. So we're going to use Lambda. Lambda is just a way of encapsulating a formula in another formula. Okay, so we're going to use basically the same formula we've used all this video. If this is empty, then do now. If not, leave it empty. That's it. That's the basic formula we've used today, more or less. Okay, but we're going to change it and put it inside a lambda. How? I'm going to copy this function and delete it and then start a lambda function. The lambda function is again nesting a function inside another function and we're going to give some arguments so the argument here will be the name in this case so we're going to call this name give it a comma and then we're going to put our formula and we're going to say instead of a2 i'm going to say that if name equals to empty then we're going to say to have now if not nothing will happen. If I close this, I'm going to have an error because Lambda requires another thing. And the other thing that requires Lambda and that makes it really, really weird is that we need another parenthesis and makes it very different from all of the formulas in Sheets and Excel is that it needs another parenthesis. So first we have the function, the, let's say the generic function, and then we're going to uh, reference it. So here, what I've said to the Lambda is first, I gave it the argument. In this case, it's just one argument that is called name. And then I gave it the formula that will use this argument. So lastly, inside parentheses, I need to say which will be this argument, which will be the reference that will be name in this particular case. And in this particular case will be A2 here. Okay, so if I remove this, I actually put it backwards. So this is if this is not empty, then you put now. So now let's write something, one. Okay, this is 939.14. Now let's try to update. And it did change to 939.28. So this is not working. So here is where it comes a really cool trick. And is that I'm going to replace this now by another argument in my Lambda function. So instead of using directly the formula now, I'm going to use it as an argument for the Lambda. I know it sounds weird, but it works. So I'm going to add another variable that will be called TS for timestamp. And then I'm going to replace TS here. And as a second argument, now I'm going to put the now function as an argument. So I'm not including it inside the formula that is inside the Lambda, but I'm using it as an argument for the Lambda. Somehow this makes it that it stamps the date. So let's do it. 9.40.19. I'm going to update. 9.40.21. I'm going to update. And apparently it works. Okay. And if I drag this down and I put Sebastian. 9.40.54. Let's see if it works. Now we're going to do the same for the uh, check. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here, but we're going to change it a bit. Again, we're not going to say that name has to be different than empty, but the name has to be true. Name equals to true. Okay, so if I leave this, let's drag this down and leave this empty and paste some other and check this. I'm going to copy all of these as values just to confirm that it's working. It's update. And here you can see 940.21, 940.54. Well, it moved one millisecond. Not sure why. The same here. It moved one millisecond. Let's do it again. 
but in hour and second and minute it remains it moved one second if you see so from 22 it moved to 20 and from 32 it moved to 30 i don't know if this is the time it takes to do the first calculation but then after the first time it never moves okay so i like this better than this one that was the old method because we don't have to go here and change weirdly the file it's complicated because if you've never heard of lambda then you won't understand it at the beginning uh, but it apparently it works and it works well so you just need to drag down your formula until the last row and then start working with it okay so now i show you four ways of doing time sums if you like this video i could do another one of uh, using it with code that I actually prefer it but maybe this lambda will replace the code because i think it's a nice option i will i will leave it running maybe a couple of months to see if this changes and i will leave you to comment uh, what works what not i know many of you will comment about the array formula and using it with array formula i for example this method of the iterative calculation doesn't work with array formula at least for me i've heard some commenters that say that has worked for them but for me it hasn't worked and there are some ways of changing this and using lambda in conjunction with some other formulas as map and it may work and we could try them in the future but for now just let me know what you think and if you apply this to any of your projects again thank you so much thank you to my patrons the support has been great if you want to support me you can go to the patreon page to download these and more than 100 templates and to ask me anything you want or you can just subscribe to the channel where each week you'll have a new video google sheets google forms google apps script and more thank you so much see you next time